Okay, here's a little sort of rough and ready explanation um, tutorial of how to phase through an object that someone requested. I'm going to do it with platform um, and because that's the hardest one to control with active objects, it's a bit simpler. So I'm going to add in a active object and I'm going to move its movement to platform. Um, I'm just going to increase the jump strength because I always find the jump strength to be way too small. So it's 120. I'm then going to add in a backdrop object. Just going to leave it as is, but I'm going to change its obstacle type. Uh, this can be an obstacle. And then the event. Oh, got some old code from what I was practicing. But a new condition that the player collision with backdrop and the classic thing of just stop. So they will just stop when they hit the background. So if I run that, you'll see... There we go, I've got the platform movement and they'll fall off, fab. So let's add the phasing through. So let's make it a bit easier, add some more platforms around the space, um, or obstacles even. So we're gonna say if they collide with the background and they're not pushing the phase button. So let's insert, so right click on the words and insert another condition that needs to be true. So for the player, the joystick, repeat while joystick is pressed because it, we want it to constantly check it, not just the first time it checks it. We want to check they're not pressing down. So that says that they are pressing down. If we right click on this and negate it, they're not pressing down. So now if I run my application, I can see that I can land on the obstacle. I press down, nothing happens. Now this is because once you're stopped on a obstacle or a platform, you're, you're stopped. You, you remain on that sort of plane of existence. Uh, but if we were to jump and then I hold down, so you can see I phased through both of those. And if I was quicker, I could probably phase through one and not the other. There we go. Great. So now we need to make it that we can phase once we've landed. So um, I'm just going to say a new condition that for the player, if you do press down, read joystick state downwards, then we'll change the position. We'll set the Y coordinate. I was just off screen, but I'm saying position, set Y coordinate. Um, and we'll get it from the player's position, their Y coordinate, and with click team, it goes up when you go down. So the Y value starts at zero at the top, it goes up. So we need to plus, I'll just add two. One pixel might not be enough. So we'll add two pixels. Then we'll just add another new condition that if the player is now overlapping a backdrop, which they will be, if they're stood on it and then they go down by two pixels, um, let me move that across, they go down by, whoop, down by two pixels, there you go. Um, they'll be overlapping the backdrop. And let's insert that you're still holding, joystick repeat while joystick's pressed down. If you're still holding down, then let's move them down again another two pixels. I'll just drag that. So that will allow us to phase by pressing the down button. So down, like, see, I'm halfway through, down. You see, I get this issue of when I'm overlapping the backdrop, I can kind of hover in in the um, in the obstacle, so you probably don't want that. So if you want to go a little bit more advanced, I would add a flag to your player. So in its values, I would add a value called I don't know phase, makes sense or drop. And so I'll say that if you press move down, um, then we'll move the position, but we'll also turn that flag set on phase. Then we'll say that if you're overlapping the backdrop, not while you're, we'll change repeat, we'll move down, we'll replace that, that phase is on. So um, flags is on phase. So now we just need to make sure we turn phase off when we don't press it. So just new condition. Um, player one, joystick, repeat while joystick is pressed down, negate it when you're not pressing it, then we'll turn flag off. And then that means that when we're moving downwards, then we're phasing. So we can also replace this as well and say that uh, the flags is flag off. Oh, don't worry, we can negate it. If flag is off, if you're not phasing, then you stop. If you press down, you start phasing. If you're overlapping a backdrop, um, then keep on phasing through it. And then when you're not holding down, stop phase. So now, I run my frame. If I start the phase happening, press down once. 
you can see let's try that again run frame hmm i'm still stopped halfway through oh because i let go of phase okay <laughs> that's because silly me you stop phasing when you're through an object so if you're not pressing down and insert the uh, collisions overlapping backdrop you're not overlapping a backdrop there we go so when both of those conditions are true sorry about that uh got there in the end so if i press down once see i drop and phase can't jump through because it's an obstacle but i can oops i can probably if i'm in the air hold down down and phase through things do you see i've phased a bit through that and they can phase um and then if these are platforms it means we can jump through them so then that gives us the option of we can jump through just too tight i can jump through them and then phase back down through them so i can jump through press down phase through phase through i said at the beginning that if you were just eight direction movement it's easier of course it's easier because the fact is for eight direction movement all you need to do is say that if you climb a background and phase well and that you're not pressing the phase button you stop that's the only thing you'd need because you don't need to worry about being halfway through objects and things like that um with eight direction movement but it would allow you to stop halfway through an object anyway i assuming they're asking about platform movement about dropping through platforms and that's a quick way that i would do it there you go